Hi, this is Gilles, Radio Prepper. I have something really special for you guys today. <laughs> it's gonna be tough though. Uh, here's what I saw when I got here. Yeah, so... <laughs> uh, it's about 183 meters, so about 600 feet. You know, I always say height is very important for radio. And today we're operating 2 meters SSB, so... So, 600 feet <laughs> should do it. But I have to climb it. This thing behind me was used for mining. Well, it's the uh, result of mining coal here in the region, north of France. Uh, it was a very uh, active uh, coal mining region. And that's what's left of it. Well, I made it, but the wind is so strong that uh, I don't know how I'm going to set up my uh, Yagi antenna up here. It would just be blown away, so I don't know. Maybe I can uh, lay it on the ground. <laughs> That's kind of... Uh, I don't think that would work, but uh, I don't know what else I can do. Well, I couldn't even stand up up there. It's so windy. It's just incredible. Uh, I'm here on the slope. I think I might try to set up here. Uh, there isn't too much wind and... Uh, I still have, uh, well, 180 degrees <laughs> to operate. So, uh, why not? It's pretty steep, but uh, hey, I didn't drive all the way up here for nothing. And over there is England. I don't hear anything, but uh, maybe the band is not open. <laughs> that would be, uh, well... And there's no point in checking if it's open, uh, if there are any uh, contacts made before you leave, because of course by the time you, uh, you get there, um, the band might be open, so... I'm gonna try to call. CQ, 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 CQ. This is Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Over. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Calling England, England, CQ, England. This is Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Over. I heard something. I heard some guy uh, saying QRZ with a British accent, so yeah, it's it's not totally closed. I heard people talking, but pretty faint, and I think it's too faint for uh, for contact, unfortunately. But uh, they were speaking English. Maybe a CW, uh, Morse code, will go through. Um, worth a try. When I turn the antenna around and uh, I hear Germans. Well, I'll tell you guys, <laughs> going up there wasn't very easy. Going down was uh, actually uh, easier, but uh, pretty dangerous because it's very slippery with all the little tiny rocks. At least you can't blame me for not sharing my failures. Although I shouldn't call it a failure because of course I scouted the place. Now I know where it is and what it's like. Someone with a handheld on top of that terril, it's called a terril by the way, maybe a contraction of the word terre in French, earth, and hill in English, who knows. Someone on top of it could easily reach 
the whole region. The line of sight is amazing. So no contact, but I had a good time. Maybe I lost half a pound, who knows, I hope so. Two meter is fickle. You never know what two meter is going to do. But two meter SSB is a great band for prepping because you get very good range. Of course, the ICOM 251 is not a portable radio by any means and I had to carry a substantial battery with it. So I really wish I had the MFJ uh, 9402 and I, I want to buy one because, uh, you know, again, 2 meter SSB is really excellent and I'm going to be using it more and I want something lighter for transport. My Yagi uh, Uda antenna though is awesome, very light, I could carry it anywhere. Not a problem at all. Go check the video if you haven't seen it where I describe it, uh, the uh, portable Yagi Uda antenna for two meters. It's a really good antenna. It's uh, not very, you know, I have to be careful because uh, it's not uh, very strong, but uh, it's very light. And when you're climbing, <laughs> you appreciate it. Because I'll tell you, my backpack was pretty down heavy and uh, I really wish I had something lighter at that time. Fortunately, it wasn't too long. Uh, but, you know, I had to catch my breath on top. I wanted to stay longer, but I have a date tonight, so, you know, I didn't have time to try FM or try my uh, UHF handheld, uh, but I have to go. So, until next time, have a good one.